Today we were Shoot to Kill, doing a bit of uh, BTS on the photography. We're doing promo shoots for the band. So we're doing three different locations. We've got two cameras, got a fisheye on the APS-C, and then we've got just a 24 to 105 f4 we're going to our first location we're doing it because it's quite light outside as it's summertime in england we have got lights as well to do some fun shots a little bit later on when we're going to be doing some darker stuff where we go to the barbican which is our third location and our second location there's some really cool buildings near the gherkin i don't actually know the name of it but yeah here we go where's the other band member oh there he is Callum. once you got out there you have to go no bags Right. Yeah. Hand to me. Sweet. Oh, sorry, yeah, we're good. Yeah, I, I don't hate it. Can we do a stair shot? All right, and let's, let's pose. <laughs> And yeah, so we, we made a little call sheet and like some ideas of where we were going. Well, not all of them panned out, but I think sometimes you have to just be flexible for things like this, because obviously all the shots aren't always going to work, all the band's not going to like the idea. And now we're on one route. Oh, this is us, this is us. Jump card. I really like Dave. <laughs> right. I'm digging your pose. All right, ready? Jesus, Callum, you're an agent of chaos. <laughs> Check it out. We'll get the London look. <laughs> All right, sweet. Uh... Right, no fan? They're, they're a fucking hardcore band. That's fair. Like, place called where all the graffiti is literally next to it, underneath it. Right, let's find the location. Yeah. League yeah, Street. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> Almost lost my tube light. It's a bit stressful. Make sure if you are bringing practical lights that um, you have one guy designated to take it, or as you'll get halfway down the street, panic, run back, and thankfully find it's there <gasps> also this is someone's place so <laughs> let's go but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna crack out some of the lights get a bit of a two-tone going on so one side will have like greens maybe and reds on the other side so we'll play around with some tubes and see what we get the big fill one we're going to use um, the amaran t4c uh four foot one and then for we've got some aperture mcs we've got two of those which i'm going to use as like kind of like key light no sorry kickers on the back uh but to be fair because it's photos and raw we should be able to like pump out the saturation a bit more if it doesn't come as much in camera that should be good sweet League Street Tunnel uh, is a super cool location. It's super busy though. As you can see, there's like tourists over there. Um, but yeah, mass graffiti everywhere. Cool venues. You've got loads of places to eat. So yeah, now we're just going to get some shots where basically we're going to have them with leading lines and then we're going to have a really hot open shot speed. So they have Sam Reed still. And then everyone moving around will blur because uh, the shot will be so uh, open. So let's do that. Honestly, I wish. It would be real you fun. Trust me to do it? No, I don't trust myself. <laughs> uh? Don't do this to me. I've already almost lost it. So I think like, see so like look at Tom's face, and then I'm like, this will make it work. Right. I think as well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some like kickers on them as well, some red the opposite side. Okay. Same formation. We've got people coming. Callum Morin. Um, nice. Okay, sick. I'm happy. Should we go move it around? Yeah. Can I just get you a bit closer, Tom? Always good to bring the manager. That way they can oversee what's going on. Um, so it's not a scary surprise, but also their input really helps. Help them just collaboratively work together. Why are your feet so far apart? Ready? Do a few more takes like that. That's it. This does so much. They were in darkness before. Yeah. Two of these. Literally just like, are like exposing for the face as like a lot on shoots and stuff. It's just in and out of the way. Like you can add it or you can put it as a flash if you don't have flash with you. But yeah, it's all cool. Nice. Useful. Right, should we? I think we're done here with this location. So now we're just heading on to 
just heading on to the next location. Little, little pub break. And wait for it to get a little bit darker. Go on to Gherkin building, potentially, if not, maybe just go to Balkan. We've got some really cool shots here, so should be good. And then we've got the other camera as well. <laughs> ah, you're a Not Loose fan too, I see. I've been using two cameras. Basically, the reason I've got this camera is because of the fisheye. This fisheye only works on APS-C sensors. Um, and it's given us some cool shots, um, as you'll see. It's good to have, also it's good to have two cameras so I don't have to keep swapping lenses. Yeah, for the solo shots, where it's just them, I'll probably go to a 35 and do F2 to get some bokeh. But yeah, let's head to our last location. So we've just finished wrapping at the Barbican. We've um, decided to do most of the shots here with this backlighting it, as well as using a tube light to give a bit of light on their face because I wasn't vibing with the flash, which is fine. Adapting our lighting to make sure it works. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna wrap up and get home because it is 11 o'clock, so we all need to go home and sleep. Awesome shoot. Cheers, Timmy. We'll see you next time.